Hello, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where we get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news the next stage of this economic crisis will be hard and positives will be rare. Firstly, in Australia, their Prime Minister is expected to warn today that the road ahead for them will be very difficult and success is not assured. And he will warn companies that subsidies and handouts can't be sustained. He will say companies need to get off the medication of handouts like JobKeeper by declaring that at some point you've got to get your economy out of ICU. And here's one example that we should keep an eye on, Taiwan. They reported some unusual April data. Taiwanese industrial production rose 3.5% in April from the same month in 2019. However, it's not all positive in Taiwan. Retail sales fell 10% on the same basis, although it has to be said that it's far less than for many other countries. And we should also note that on the mainland, the Chinese central bank authorities let their currency fall to its lowest level against the US dollar in more than 12 years. It wasn't a large daily move, but it was at a level that's sure to infuriate Washington, and probably intentionally. A weaker yuan helps keep China in the export game. At the same time, there's a hint of a changed strategy in Beijing. The Chinese president said he's pursuing a new de development plan, focusing on its domestic market rather than an export-led growth model. But what the President Xi says and what actually happens often differs. However, if they do turn inward, it will indeed be a very significant shift. In Germany overnight, a business sentiment survey has been a, seen a bit of a turning point. It was still very negative, but less so in May than April, and less so than it was expected. Meanwhile, world trade is lower, but not as much by, as you might think. And certainly that is the case for New Zealand. Trade has definitely not come to a grinding halt. That has been a feature of the domestic economy rather than international trade. One item that has seen a huge spike in international trade during the lockdown is for laptops. And of course, almost all of them are being shipped from China. US Treasury 10-year yield is unchanged today at 0.66%. The gold price is down slightly again today, down another $5 to $1,728 an ounce. And oil prices are firmer today, but only marginally. The US crude price is now just over $33.50 a barrel, and the international price is just over $35.50 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar is staying firm, now it's still just on 61 US cents while the New York markets are closed. On the cross rates, we're marginally lower at 93.2 Australian cents. Against the euro, we're holding at 56 euro cents. That means our trade weighted index is little changed at 67. I'm David Chaston. That was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.